All right, welcome back to your ninth tutorial on how to create Excel documents. And what we are going to do here, we are going to iterate through cells. So um, I've took a little bit of time together and created an Excel document just with a bunch of names in there. You know, there's an uh, Clint Eastwood and some Brink, Brick Frederick, whoever that is some numbers in there and we are basically just going to iterate through all those cells and printing them out. So you can download that file if you want to in the description below or if you make that file for yourself make sure as you save it that it is an older version of Excel from 97 to 2004 because if you choose something like you know 2007 and newer version that's not going to work with our Apache library but otherwise it will work just as fine alright so for that I'm just going to create a new class to keep it boring I'm just going to call it Excel 2 and as soon as we have that class I'm going to import a couple of stuff. So the first thing we need to import is from the org Apache PO ISS, no wait, HSSF user model package. And it's called the HSSF workbook. The other thing we need to import is from the org Apache PO ISS user model package. And just go ahead and import everything in there because we're gonna use a couple of stuff from there, you know, the workbook and the sheet, the cell, the row, all the kind of stuff, so we know, don't need to copy paste that and change all the stuff. So, another thing we need to import is from the java.util package and it's called the iterator. So the iterator is in a generic class and with the iterator we can basically go from cell to cell and print out everything we want. Another thing we need to import is the java.io, just go ahead and import everything in there. What else I've thought of, we could maybe let the user choose his file. So maybe give him uh, some little dialogue for him to choose his file. You know, you would usually see as you open a file from uh, Word or something like that. Uh, just to give you a quick demonstration, if I click on open file in there, you know, we get the little screen and I can choose a file and then open it. So for that we can use a class from the Swing library. So import javax.swing and it's called the J file chooser. And the file chooser is basically what it says, it just lets the user choose his file. Alright, now that we have everything imported, let's create our main method in our Excel document. So, public static void main string arcs curly braces enter. And in there we're just going to create our file chooser for the user so he can choose his wonderful Excel file. So J file chooser, let's call it something like file chooser equals to new J file chooser. Alright, and now we just want to show the uh, the user the open dialog. So type in file chooser dot show open dialog and as a component just type in null because we don't have any parent classes or like something like that alright and as soon as we run that we get <coughs> sorry we get a beautiful little dialog and we can choose all kinds of files and click on open if we want to but right now it doesn't do anything because we didn't say it should do anything as soon as he clicks the open button. So that's basically what the show open dialog does. It just shows the user uh, the files he can choose from. Now uh, we want to make sure that he clicks on the open button. 
uh, let me just run that again. So, you know, uh, we get all those different buttons in there. Or you can click on, click on X. We can click on um, thing. I forgot what that one's called. Uh, and we want to make sure that it clicks on that open button. So for that, we uh, the show open dialog method is actually going to return a an integer, which is going to tell us which button he pressed. So we have to create an integer. Let's call it something like return value, and set it equal to file chooser dot show open dialog. And now we want to check if he op clicked the open button. So let's create an if statement. If return value equals equals to j file chooser dot approve option and the approve option is basically the open button you can see on screen all right so what does the user want to see as soon as he it hits the open button well we have to create a new workbook so let's create a new workbook Let's call it workbook equals to new HSSF workbook. And of course, we don't want to create a whole new blank workbook. We want to put the uh, the file I have already created into that workbook. So just create a new file input stream in the HSSF workbook. And as a parameter, it asks for a file. And of course, the user already chose his file from the j file chooser panel and from there we can get the file he chose from, uh, he chose so type in file chooser dot get selected file and this is somewhat dangerous to do so we have to put it in a try catch block because you know he could either be opening a word document or something else could happen that we don't want to happen. So from the file chooser, we can get the selected file and put it in the workbook. So now we want to iterate through each of those cells. Mm, but first, first we need to get the sheet. So let's call it sheet. And we need to get it from the workbook dot get sheet. Get sheet at, and it's at parameter number zero. So it's the first sheet I created and from there we want to iterate through all of those cells. So now we have to create a for loop and with the for loop we are going to read out each cells. So what do we want to iterate through. So first we have to create an object from the iterator and it's going to uh, we need uh, those kinds of brackets in there and let's put in row and let's call it something like RIT which is basically short for RIT uh, uh, row iterator and let's it, uh, we have to set it equal to sheet dot row iterator and we want to iterate through each of those rows as as long as the row has content. So as long as rit dot has next. So let me just show that to you. If I open up Excel, we created our row iterator, and it's it starts here. It just goes down, 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 down until twenty six and from there you know he doesn't have any more rows because you know this is one this one is completely empty and it, he's going to stop right here and so for each row we want to create a new row so we have to type in row let's call it row equals to rit dot next and from there we want, from each row we will also want to iterate through each cell so we have to create a for loop in a for loop and the second for loop we have to type in for iterator and in those 
uh, weird brackets we have to type in cell let's call this one CIT which is for cell, cell iterator and we have to set that equal to row dot cell iterator so now it's going to iterate through each cell in the row so let me just show that to you quickly so it starts here with the row and then it's going to go through cell, cell, cell okay it doesn't have any more cells let's go to the second row let's read out that cell, cell, cell okay no more cells left let's go to the next cell, uh, next row and so that's basically what it's going to do and of course we want to make sure that the cell iterator has next all right so let's create a new cell in the second for loop let's call it cell equals to cit dot next and uh, what we have to do here we basically have to uh, print out we, we basically want to print out the uh, cell so uh, one thing to a note is that not every cell is the same uh, same style you know this one is a string this one is a string but this one is not a string it's actually a number so we have to make sure we convert that otherwise it won't work so we, let's just go ahead and convert those numbers to strings and then we can go ahead and print out those so let's just type in cell dot set cell type and now let's set the cell type to cell dot cell type string and this is basically going to make a string out of every cell even if, if it's a number and now we can print it out so just type in system dot out dot print just print and let's print out the cell dot get string cell value and behind the get string cell value uh, let's just put in a little little tab so there's some space in there and after it iterated through the, all the cells in the row we want to create a new line so outside of the second for loop where we iterated through all of those cells we want to create a new line so let's just type in the system out print line so let's run that hopefully we don't get any error messages and then I have to choose my file which is on the desktop and I'll choose the names.exl and as soon as I hit open you can see it just printed out all the cells from uh, 20 from 1 to 26 zipper Laura we have Mike query Nimbus to thousand yeah so that's basically how you iterate through all of those cells um I guess that's basically it for this tutorial you know how to iterate through all those cells now you know how to make sure that every cell has a content in there and this is I guess how I'm going to end up this ninth tutorial. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions left, make sure to ask those questions in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. So see you soon again. Bye.